Hello everyone. So, I wanted to welcome you to another uh, model video. In this video, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Fire Flash uh, Atomic Airliner from uh, Aoshima. And this was from, this was featured in the TV show Thunderbirds, uh, Super Mario Nation. Uh, TV show and I've seen a model of this at some point and I thought, well, that looks kind of cool. Might be kind of fun to build. And then I watched the show, and interestingly, in the show, um, it's in the pilot episode, the first episode of the series, and um, it has some interesting action. There's a bomb aboard it, and they have to land it without it using its uh, landing gear. And, uh, and then there was another episode where uh, one of them actually crashed into the ocean and sank, kind of like that movie Airport 77. And, um, and I thought that was pretty cool. And I always love mixing, like, putting things in water that shouldn't be in water, like airplanes, cars, that kind of thing. Uh, I just have a real fascination with that. I don't know why. But... Um, I got this model um, relatively cheaply off of eBay, uh, which sucks by the way. I wouldn't suggest using eBay, but we all do because that's where all the stuff is and all has the best prices. Um, you'll notice this, this doesn't have any decals. Uh, it's supposed to have decals for the airline, air terrainian, uh, and that kind of thing. It's supposed to have white outlines around all the blue areas. I didn't mask off all the blue areas. Um, but anyway, before I go into all, all the all this stuff, um, this model broke me. I have been building models since I was eight years old. And um, I'm, uh, I'm kind of old. You guys, I don't know how old you think I am or how old I look. I've been told I look like 25. Um, to 30, 35, uh, but I'm, I'm older than that. So, you know, I, I don't make a statement like that lightly. When I say a model broke me, it's true. Uh, it really has to be bad. Um, I've had a lot of setbacks in models. I've had a lot of, you know, issues just difficulties, you know, and, and hurdles to overcome. You know, that's part of the game. But, um, yeah. The model itself, building it, was fine. It went together very well. Um, it seems to be a well-constructed model. Um, uh, well-designed. It, it was, it's a, it's, an, it's a pleasurable model to build problem came with the paint, and the paint I used was the same paint that I used on my uh, Starfleet Strange New Worlds phaser, and it's kind of a, a light metallic powder blue, which you can see here. Well, that's automotive paint, and it's a high temperature paint. It's, it's meant to go on engine blocks, and uh, the first coat I did, I did a whole, I coated the whole thing, and I got a little run right here. And I went, oh man, and it was like the end of the world. I was like, oh god, this really bumps me out. That was the least of my problems. So then I went to mask the model. Well, money being what it is for me right now, I didn't have. Uh, I had other projects that I wanted to use my primer on, and I didn't prime the model before I uh, put that that um, layer of uh, automotive paint on. And so when I masked the front of the model for the darker blue sections, the paint came up with it, the uh, lighter blue color. So I had to then prime over the entire model using all the primer that I had. Now I don't have primer for my other builds. Um, and 
so I primed it all, got that all done, and then I used the automotive uh, paint again, and it came out in a really with a really rough texture, which it didn't the first time, and it got a massive run right here, massive run. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I did my best to smooth it out. Massive run right here. It's got like kind of a rough texture in certain areas. It turned out like shit. But I let it dry, all that stuff. Then I went and masked a section of it. A section that was on an, an area that I could easily tape off and retouch if the paint came up again. Did the masking, pulled the masking tape off, the paint stayed on, it did not come up. I was like, great, okay, let's fucking do this. Painted all the blue stuff, um, and, uh, and pulled the, the masking tape up, and some of the paint came off right here. I was like, oh, fuck. And because it was already two-tone, that means that I had to do a reverse mask of what I'd just done. <sighs> so that was fun. And, um, and I had to, I don't know if you can see it, but I had to mask out, mask all of those little tiny windows in the, right here. And, you know, the windows for the lounges right here. This was a little bit easier because it was, you know, larger surface area. But, um, so I had some paint come up. So I did a reverse mask and did another, another layer. Well, you know, and I, I put primer down because when it came up, it, it took the primer with it for some reason. I don't know why. I, I'm guessing just to piss me off. And, um, and so, uh, took the paint off, took the masking tape off, and there had been a bleed of the primer under the tape. So I had to, I thought, okay, well, I'll just uh, decant some of the spray paint, the light blue spray paint, and I'll just brush it on. This is what it looks like when I did that. So I said, fuck it. I can't deal with this anymore. I'm going fucking insane. So, um, please don't mean that. Um, if any of you are, are inclined to do so. Um, I was just like, whatever. And I made it ten times worse. It was just a little tiny line of, of just a little bit of white. And that turned into this whole blotchy mess. And I'm like, fuck. So, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I don't want to have to deal with this anymore, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put my clear coat on. But first I wanted to do, um, my decals. Now, I, I wasn't exactly aware of this, but this, uh, was an original issue of this model by Oshima. And um, I looked at the decals, put the first decal on, which was this big one that goes right here, put it on, and I realized that um, it says Air Terrania, which is a lot of letters. Yeah. It turns out that the way they did the decals, every single fucking letter is its own decal. That's not how you do decals, because you want to save the sanity of the modeler, you know? Um, I could have done it if I wanted to spend another week on this, and I was already pulling my fucking hair out, so... I was like, you know what? Fuck it! And I looked at all the other marking decals with letters and numbers. All individual decals. Now that's something that they fixed on the later versions of this kit. Um, they included two different uh, decal sheets. One 
with the ind individual letters as decals and one with just the decals as a whole unit. Um, so that, okay, fuck it. Um, I'm just going to leave off the, the letters and numbers. You know, it's going to piss me off, it's going to aggravate me because it's not like it is in the show. Even though I'm not a big fan of the show, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Um, you know, if this was the Enterprise, then I probably would have done it. But imagine trying to put United Federation of Planets on the side of a ship with individual letters. I mean, that would drive you fucking nuts, wouldn't it? It certainly drove me nuts with this goddamn thing. Anyway, um, so I thought, okay, I'll just do the white stripes. Because all the blue areas are outlined with white stripes. Yeah, um, the white stripes, they shattered when they hit the water. I got one decal on, right here. It's not on there anymore because I took it off. Put the other one in, in the water, shattered. Could I have fixed it if I wanted to spend a week, an extra week, fiddling with little tiny shards of decal? Yeah, I probably fucking could have. But I didn't fucking want to. So I said, fuck it. I'm just going to put a goddamn clear coat over it and be done with it. So, that's where we are now. Um, clear coated. And, uh, you know, the, the blue was, to me, it's not the same blue that's in the show. These are metallic colors. But it's what I had on hand. And um, were I to do this model again which I'm somewhat tempted to do, because the model itself, like I said, was fine. It was just the decals, which were shit, and the paint I was using was shit. Uh, the light blue. The dark blue here is, is metallic. Uh, to me, I'm metallic blue. I can't remember what number it is. But um, that, of course, went down fine, you know, and um, sticks to everything, so it's good. It's good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, you know, the rough texture on the paint, do not like it. It pisses me off, but it is what it is. So, I have a model of this thing. Um, I'm enjoying it, you know. Um, trying to overlook the areas that bother me. It's a two-foot model. Um, it doesn't mean that it's two feet long, but it means that it's best looked at from about two feet away. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But it's the model of the Fire Flash. So, yeah. Um, this one broke me, folks. This one broke me. Again, what, 30 years, maybe? Over 30 years of modeling experience. I built hundreds of models. Um, I built models that I've sold for. Um, hundreds of dollars and um, I have the skill set to build a model and probably sell it for thousands but uh, I do this for a hobby I do it for enjoyment you know and and when I do it for a job it, it's different and it's not as fun um, it's not really fun at all actually but um, with all that experience even I screw up you know and sometimes your paint fucks up and doesn't work with you and you know you have problems and I tested the paint beforehand of course I always do that now before I put any uh, you know if it's to me a paint or, or some kind of specific model paint uh, you know I feel fairly confident uh, in putting it on the model especially to me it just depends upon what colors and what layers that I'm putting on um, will dictate whether or not I do any tests but for this, um, I did all my tests, made sure all my paints worked together, and all that stuff. But um, it just, this paint just fucked me. It fucked me, and it wasn't fun. So, yeah. That's it. Um, I, I really want to crash this thing in the water now. You know, I just want to throw it in the water. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I could have done the seam work, you know, I didn't really fix any of the seams, I didn't really want to. Um, you know, like I said, the 
the season is kind of winding down, so um, there's only so much time that I have to uh, to paint my models. Yeah, it's a fun model, and you know, if I ever go back and do another one, um, I'll. Uh, I'll build the little lounges inside here, inside the clear parts, just for fun, you know. You'll notice that the windows are blacked out. Um, I don't want to do them white because they didn't really look white in the show. So what I used to paint them was this, uh, Sharpie fine point sharpie and if you're wondering uh, to me a clear coats will go over a uh, fine point sharpie and they will seal it in so um, yeah and it looks good you know it has a little bit of a you know how how sharpies kind of look you know the, the ink it has a little bit of that but um, but it's fine you know, does a job, and it was easier than trying to paint this stuff because paint, paint flows, and it tends to flow over everything, um, and you're never going to get it 100% inside there. That's why you know those little uh, paint pens are really nice. I haven't used one in a long time though. Anyway, that's my fire flash. So I hope you guys like the video, and um, I hope you appreciate. Um, you know, my lack of ego allowing me to tell you um, when I really screw up on a model. Um, it wasn't necessarily me, it was kind of the paint and its reactivity and all that stuff. Lesson learned, I won't use that kind of paint for models anymore. Anyway, um, thanks for watching everybody, and um, bye-bye.